celebration for our local veterans may look different in this year, but our level of respect remains just as deep as ever, even in the midst of a challenging year for all. While we might be physically apart during this special time, we are unified as a community to honor all who have served. To commemorate Veterans Day in this season, we take a look back at those we have honored in recent years. We got sent to the Gulf of Tonkin. And there we was in the Gulf for maybe a couple of days and then we got uh, approached by North uh, Vietnam port, uh, torpedo boats. And uh, that changed everything. My heart rate went up and everything out there with all emergency turns and all that. When they finally uh, found out that somebody had fired a missile at us and it, that big as that ship was, uh, the missile missed our ship by approximately 18 feet, which is too close to be that big a ship there. So it's, uh, and we had to have backup calls and uh, the aircraft carrier sent in uh, planes to drop flares so we can see what we were shooting at because it all it was at nighttime. You know, and at that time there was snakes and things in that kind of water. And so it was very frightening. And, but uh, through the grace of God, we got through it. And at that time when I was in the reserves is what I got called to active duty during Desert Storm. And uh, there was a real possibility of going uh, in theater, as they say. And I thought to myself, you know, these guys all around me, I'd go to war with these guys because they'll w watch my back and I'll watch theirs. And it's like it's supposed to be, it was a brotherhood. In fact, uh, it calls to mind Shakespeare, you know, King Henry V. Uh, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today who sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. So that's the feeling I had, the camaraderie, uh, knowing you're, they have your back, you have theirs, and you can't, can't beat that. So in the military, once I got there, I was with 60 other women, and it was automatically a camaraderie that was built that first day. So I knew that we were gonna do things together and that it was a team effort. So once I got there, I got to just be with others that were there for their own reasons, but really I got to see us be a team and really from the ground, from the bottom to the top, we, we just went through everything together. I served roughly three years and three months in each one. I made captain in the, in the Korean conflict in uh, 1952. And then one of my fondest memories was uh, commanding, being commanding officer of the uh, Special Training Company at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in San Diego. I ran the company for two years. It was a great assignment and I loved it. So it was September 11th. Uh, I remember going to the rooftop in Queens uh, and seeing the smoke. Uh, I was supposed to be enrolling in school that that summer and I didn't go to school that day and I was able to see the impact of the smoke and uh, I remember going around with my family and trying driving around to different hospitals trying to donate blood you know I was 10 years old trying to donate blood it was crazy um, and that's actually a big reason why most of my classmates chose to serve and join the military uh, was September 11th and that really motivated us to want to lead soldiers and serve our country. And I look back at it now and I'm like, man, we take all this for granted. Like, I was hanging out right here just before this and I was looking out right here and it's so beautiful how all these mountains and everything are and all the infrastructure that we have here. And over there, you wouldn't see that. You'd see a lot of desert or it was, it's a very, very big like eye opener as to see how other people live compared to us and you just, come to like uh, appreciate what we got here a lot more. It means more to me every year. Um, I meet more veterans, um, talk to more veterans, and realize uh, I wasn't the only one who was impacted the way I was. So it's become more important. Uh, you start to think about it wasn't just the Vietnam veterans, it was veterans from all wars who uh, 
gave a part of their life in some cases and some of them gave their lives. Um, because of that, uh, you start to realize the importance of it. And uh, as a young man, I felt like I was um, uh, invincible in some ways. We just kept on going. We kept uh, doing our job. Uh, now when I look back at the numbers that we lost there, uh, I realize uh, I was very lucky to make it home. It's just honoring the guys for what they did, who they were, but whether you saw them or not, or whether you knew anyone or not. Um, it's just honoring what the sacrifice that the guys gave, uh, whether they gave them life, their life, their time, a uh, portion of their body or whatever. Um, it was, it's just to honor them, to show them appreciation. And I don't think we do enough of that. Well, what I hope and think others should, you know, I, I would like for them to feel is, you know, just say to a hi to a fellow veteran or, you know, somebody that served, you know, they, they gave their all. You know, I, I think the least we can do as Americans is, you know, respect that. Uh, I think every day ought to be Veterans Day. And as we think about um, the 11th month, the 11th day, 11th hour, it was in tribute, so to speak, to the war, to end all wars. And of course, uh, there have been wars and rumors of wars since then. Certainly, I trust that uh, those who um, may be having some trouble, physical and mental, based on their service. Keep the faith. Um, you're a warrior, and I'll never forget you. The toughest parts was during our deployment, you know, we did get ambushed a couple times, and in the result of that, I did happen to lose a buddy. Uh, but it was, it was really unexpected. And, uh, you know, just, just hearing about it, really, I didn't want to believe it. I still don't want to believe it, you know. Uh, I still, to this day, wear his bracelet in memory of him. Before I, I entered the service, I really didn't, I took a lot of things for granted. Uh, but now that I, you know, finished my term and I'm back transitioning in the civilian world, it, I really appreciate this country a lot more for everything. Every time I see the flag, it's it's really uh, it still gives me chills, especially being in a you know a ballpark and hearing the national anthem being sung. It it really takes me back, and I really appreciate this country a lot more. Mm -hmm.